the two individuals who are going to take water baptism this morning, that God will strengthen them, God will help them, God will bless them, and uh, help them to stand firm in their decision till the end of their life. Let us pray that the presence of the Lord will be manifested in this place in a mighty way. Let us thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's praise Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. We need your presence, Lord, more than anything else. We need your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, we humble ourselves as we have gathered here, O oh Lord. We thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, we pray that your presence will continue to be manifested in this place. Thank you for everything you have done so far in our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for everyone who is in the sanctuary. And I pray for everyone who is watching this service from different places. Lord, I pray that this day will be blessed and this day will be a great blessing in everyone's life. Not only those who are taking the water baptism, but also in the life of everyone who is going to be watching this service or attending this service. Lord. We thank you for Kevin. Thank you that from a very young age, you helped them to know you. You gave him the privilege to be born in a family who honors you. And Lord, at the right time, you helped him to accept you as his personal Savior and Lord. And Lord, you filled him with the Holy Spirit. We thank you for that. And as, I, as he has taken the decision to take water baptism, we pray for your blessings upon him. Pray for Tim as um, you gave him also the privilege to know you, accept you as his Lord and Savior. And thank you for anointing him with the Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Lord, that this morning both of them are here to publicly proclaim that I am saying goodbye to my old life. I am dead to sin. I am dying with Christ. I am risen for a new life. And they are going to publicly proclaim their faith in Jesus. We pray that you will bless them, help them, Lord. From the beginning till the end, you be with us, guide us, lead us. Let your name be glorified in and everything. We thank you, we praise you, we give you honor and glory. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. 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 I want to thank the Lord for this beautiful day God has given in our lives to come to his presence. It's a special occasion, it's a joyful occasion that uh, two of our children are going to take water baptism, they are going to confess their faith, publicly proclaim that they are giving their life to Jesus and they will live the rest of their life with Jesus. And uh, this morning I'm so happy and I welcome you all who have come here to participate in the service and also all those who are online or on Zoom line watching the service. We pray that God will bless everyone this morning. As those children are submitted their life and have taken the decision, before we go into the baptism service, why don't we all stand up in God's presence if we can stand up. We're going to spend a few moments in praising God. <clears throat> and we are going to thank the Lord and uh, we're just going to praise Him because He alone is worthy of praises and adoration. With a simple heart, with an open heart, let us give Him the best we can this morning. And more than anything else, let's pray that the presence of the Lord will be overshadowing in this service. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Let the King of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from.
soar through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my Redeemer, who can imagine so great a mercy? What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to bear my sin and bear. I have spoken, I have forgiven, the King of kings calls me his own. He lives for the Savior, I'm yours forever, Jesus Christ, my living The one who set me free, hallelujah. Death has lost his grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. There's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ. Then came the morning that sealed the promise. The buried body began to breathe. Yeah, I'm your buddy. 
స్తోత్రం చేయాం హాలలూయా లెట్ us thank the lord who delivered us from the clutches of the sin the bondage of which were upon us he delivered us from that hallelujah he brought us he made us his own children he gave us a new life let us thank the lord hallelujah we worship you lord we praise you hallelujah we give you honor and glory we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah not only that he gave us a hope hallelujah hope of an eternity with him hallelujah 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 thank you jesus hallelujah devakala kanya naalukala etra pravashyam bharangalum prayasangalum nammude yudil neerita pol nammal vidvichu nammada karthavinte sannidhiyile innu raavile nammude hrudayathin aalangalum nammude karthavinte nanniyoda stotram cheyya let's thank the lord who has delivered us in the times of our troubles in the times when we were anxious he brought me into a place which is secure hallelujah enna sthirade ullo oru sthalathek avan kondu vannu hallelujah let us thank the lord for all his mercies hallelujah abundant are his mercies as we read in the word of god his mercies are new every day hallelujah his mercies are new every day hallelujah this morning also we are experiencing his new mercies in the ravile naam avante pudhiya krubagale anubhavichu kondirikkukayana hallelujah hallelujah this morning yes uh, hallelujah we are going to proceed ahead with the baptism service now i want to remind everyone that is our call i will carry the cross and walk till the end the last song we sang in malayalam it says like that hallelujah kurisedutha yesuvine anigamikkum njan andhyam vare ഇന്ന് പകൽ സ്നാനപ്പെടുന്ന കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങളോട് എനിക്ക് പറയാനുള്ള ആഹ്വാനം ഇതാണ് അന്ത്യം വരെ യേശുവിന്റെ കുരിശെടുത്ത് നടക്കണം ഹലലുയ അവന്റെ പിന്നാലെ പോകണം ഹലലുയ വോക്ക് ബിഫൈൻ ജീസസ് വോക്ക് കാരിങ് യുവർ ക്രോസ് വോക്ക് ടിൽ ദി എൻഡ് ഹലലുയ ഹലലുയ മേ ദ ലോഡ് ഹെൽപ് അസ് ഓൾ ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ഹലലുയ താങ്ക് യു ജീസസ് താങ്ക് യു ജീസസ് താങ്ക് യു ജീസസ് ദാസ് വി ഓൾ ആർ പ്രേ I'm going to request one person doesn't matter who you are if you want to let by the lord just raise your voice and pray hallelujah for the rest of the service or alke sabdu merthi prarthikyam one person can lead us in prayer hallelujah thank you jesus one one person from the crowd can just pray <clears throat> Amen. Amen. You will be seated, please. Praise the Lord once again. If you're happy, can you lift up your hands and just say, Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is an occasion to rejoice in the presence of the Lord. This is not an occasion to be gloomy or sad about anything. Amen. Let's leave all of our burdens at the feet of Jesus. Because He has promised that He will carry all of our burdens. He will take care of everything else. One thing we need to do is we need to rest in his presence amen hallelujah this morning i'm so glad that uh, we all could come here and uh, we are going to have the baptism service um, and i'm i'm happy that uh, it is happening uh, at this point of time so what we are going to do is in a short while i'm going to call um, two of our dear ones who are going to take the water baptism this morning to come forward we had um, some baptism classes being held about six people attended the baptism class um, two have decided to take baptism now but others may do it later as they are also preparing so this i think this is not the first or the only service this year we'll have more baptism services coming up but this morning um, i'm so glad that uh, two of your young people have or two of our kids have decided to take the water baptism and uh, they are going to um, you know come forward and tell us about why and what but uh, before that and then i am going to share a few things from the word of god we'll pray for them and then we'll have the baptism service being um, so we'll have the baptism service here conducted here so <clears throat> once again i welcome you all and uh, thank you all for coming this morning and uh, i'm so happy to be in the presence of the Lord. 
The last time I came to this church, um, probably along with many of you, was uh, back in 2021, um, the month of July, third week, when we had Merlin's baptism. And uh, you all know that uh, that baptism was very significant in my life and also in Merlin's life, right? Miss Merlin, because she took baptism. But it was significant because um, that day, um, that evening, I actually got the vision which guided me through my journey for the next one and a half, two years. And still I am journeying because of the vision I got that night about my journey I was going to take. And you all know about it, so I don't want to um, talk about it. Um, but I'm so glad that uh, God has brought us to the same place. Uh, and um, I am able to stand in front of you all and I'm able to um, speak and I'm able to uh, do the service because there was a time um, after that where there were times where days I could not stand up, there were days when I could not speak, there were days so I'm having still a little bit issue but don't worry, it's nothing else. I've been still on some medication which is uh, affecting certain aspects of things but <clears throat> all over I'm fine. Uh, so I'm so happy that uh, this morning God has given me one more opportunity, one more privilege uh, to be uh, with everyone and uh, to be part of this service. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness of God. Amen. Amen. Um, there were, you know, times when I did not think, but there were people who thought that I will never come back. But I thank God that God's plans and purposes are way beyond our imagination. Amen. Amen. Uh, I will. I have, I, there is uh, another significance, maybe I will share some other time with this baptism too. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm so happy. So at this time I'm going to call um, Kevin and then Tim, both of them, one by one to come forward and they are going to come in front of us and tell us uh, why and how um, they came to this conclusion that they want to take water baptism and they will um, share a few things. and. Uh, after that, we will go from there. So, come. It's going to come. Come. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Um, I thank God for this opportunity to stand in front of you all. Um, as most of you know, I was born as a Christian and raised as a Christian by my parents. And I'm glad I was born with a Christian family. Because even though I had tough times in my life, the church has helped me shape myself to who I am now. I got salvation on December 31st of 2021. It was from Pastor Uncle's passage, and I felt that I felt salvation in me. And most of you know I feel God filled with the Holy Spirit on September 17th. And I'm proud that God filled me with the Holy Spirit. And since then, I wanted to take water baptism. So here I am. I wanted to take water baptism because I wanted to give my life to Jesus and accept Him into my life and show others that I'm now for Christ. And for the Sunday school teachers I had, and I thank Joy Jessica and Joy Suji for a long time ago for teaching me. I also wanted to thank Sarah Chichi for teaching me. And I also wanted to thank Aunt Jessica for being mostly my Sunday school teacher. He had taught me so much these most years of living. He was a very strict teacher like my parents. He even told me to get another teacher this year, which I did get, because he wanted me to see other people's opinions and views. But I feel like he wanted to get rid of me, who really knows though. Um, and I'll, maybe I'll give him next year, God only knows. I also thank my parents for teaching me life lessons, and even in Adi, when I did something wrong, so I never do it again. My mom always prays for me when I go to school, and whenever I go to sleep, just because she wants to keep me safe, so thank God for that. I thank my friends Josh, Tim, David, and Esther for always hearing me out when I was in trust. I even thank the pastor for teaching us all of us about God's word and him teaching me so much stuff in the baptism class that I now use in the journey with Christ. I also thank God for guiding me to taking water baptism and accepting my life to Jesus. And I thank you all for praying for me and coming and taking part in this special day of my life. 
Please continue to pray for me as I continue with Christ and following to the end. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I thank God for this opportunity to stand in front of you all. Um, I was, able, I was able to accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior during the tearing meeting that was held in last September. Um, during that, those meetings, I felt God's presence. And I also God also filled me with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the reason I want to take baptism today is it is an important step in my spiritual life, going closer to God and giving my life to Jesus. And it's also a public proclamation of my faith in Jesus. There, there are a couple of things I want to say that God blessed me with that I'm very thankful for. First of all, God placed me in a godly family from a very young age. Both my parents, they were helping me grow more in Christ um, and everything and provided me with all the resources that to grow more in Christ. Secondly, I want to thank God for giving me grandparents on both sides of my parents. They pray for me um, with effort and they're faithfully and persistently praying for me, so I want to thank all of them. I also want to thank the church for praying for me and giving me in a spiritual environment to grow in God and um, leading me to this decision. And thirdly, when my dad got sick last year, it was a sad um, a year ago. Um, it was a sad time because he wasn't at home and many things were sad. But I thank God for um, giving him healing. And last year, today's, like, I feel like my dad baptizing me is a special thing because last year, this time, it was something that would be impossible. But I thank God because what the enemy projected for evil was turned to good. So I'm thanking God for that. And I also thank all my Sunday school teachers who taught me the word of God. And I know I'm still young and I have many years of school I'm left. And I know I'm going to face many challenges, but I'm asking all of your persistent prayers so that I will continue to grow in Christ. I want to read one verse, Colossians 2.12. Having been buried, buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through your faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. It is also special that I was filled with the Holy Spirit before my baptism. So I want to thank everyone for praying for me and asking everyone to continue to pray for me that I will stay closer to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you both for your testimonies and uh, now I'm convinced that it's okay to baptize you both. So I told yesterday that you have to say testimony for 10 minutes and don't finish in one word. Uh, otherwise, people will be confused if they are really ready for it or not. But thank God. I praise God for uh, this beautiful time. Um, as you heard from both of their own words of testimony, how God has worked in their life. And uh, from their birth, um, there has been a lot of things going on, a lot of prayers, parents, grandparents, relatives, church, um, effort being put by teachers, parents, in teaching them the Word of God. And uh, it is all coming to a point where this morning they both are going to say, I have decided to follow Jesus, now no turning back, no turning back. When I was uh, teaching this time, many of the students who were attending, or many of the people who were attending the baptism class were young, so I, had, I was focused, a couple of weeks I was focused on salvation. At that time I said something, don't think, because a lot of times people get frustrated in their Christian life because they think that something magical is going to happen at the baptism. Yes, there is something significant, supernatural which will happen, but 
Your real life starts after that. Because you have time from now or from the time you were saved all the way to the end of your life where the sanctification process will be active, where you will have to yield your life to the will of God, yield to the voice of the Holy Spirit. You will have to yield yourself so that you can be transformed and changed on a daily basis, renewed so that you can overcome and be victorious in this world. Normally I tell people that the enemy has plan A, plan B, plan C. So, of course, his first plan is to prevent somebody from coming to Christ. If he fails in that attempt, the second attempt, of course, is to make them back slide from the faith, to turn them back from faith. And if they fail in that also, the third plan, according to my, or the way I have understood is to make them a frustrated Christian. Make them a frustrated Christian, just, you know, going with the flow of things but not experiencing Jesus and the power of God in our lives on a daily basis. I want to tell you something, whether you are baptized or not baptized. Our Christian life is not supposed to be a static life. It is supposed to be a dynamite, dynamic life, enjoying the presence of the Lord, not on Sundays alone, but on a daily basis. And uh, the uniqueness of the power of God and the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ is that it is not only available within a church, it is available on your bed, it is available when you are in the hospital, it is available when you are at your workplace, it is available when you are driving, it is available all the time 24 by 7. It is not closed after 10 p.m. It, is, it doesn't close at midnight, even at 1 a.m. If you call unto him, he will respond to you. Amen. And Paraya, Namada Deva Tinde, Visheshaka and Dani Udija, Patuniam Kadata Chipotilla, Padanuniam Kadata Katilla, Rata Lurimaniku, Randamanicho, Nibulichabe Shicha, then Putra Mana Namada Deva. I went a sign at the Manipovichu on the Jivikin or Anipo Mana, Christia Jividam. Patan Mari party to the Christia Jividam, South Park Jividam. This is after they realize the beauty of this Christian life. They have sung that this life with Christ is a beautiful life. How many of you are here this morning who can say, My walk with Jesus is a beautiful experience. My life with my Lord has been a beautiful experience. It is not void of troubles. It is not like without challenges. Yes, challenges, war, difficulties, sickness, all the problems may come. But one thing which stands aside is the fact that the peace of God which transcends all understanding is there deep inside of us. Praise God. If you are happy about that, let's thank the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And I'm so glad. So I was uh, teaching uh, them about the fact that they have to, uh, you know, <clears throat> go ahead. So now I want to tell a few things before I get into the baptism and we go into the baptism service. Now, as they take the water baptism today, we have to, not only with them, but with everyone, but especially on this occasion, I want to tell you, we all have a role to play now. You know what is the role we have to play? We have to play the role of a supporting role for them. Because nobody can accomplish all the plans God has for them on their own. People have invested. Sometimes I'm amazed like very ordinary people. You know there is a, now a, a preacher who is a, who's kind of a renowned preacher now in the in in US, one day my wife was telling he was my Sunday school kid. I said, really? <laughs> so that's very true. Sometimes the little investment we do, you never know where they will end up. One day, uh, somebody I heard someone saying that you know uh, that kid who is. 
that, 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 that pastor who is like leading a church of 3,000 people and then um, he was telling about few more people and he was telling, oh, they were all my kids in my Sunday class. This person is not, you know, any renowned, but he was telling. So what I want to tell you is, people like Billy Graham also had a Sunday school teacher. People like Raynard Bong also had a Sunday school teacher. They had a pastor whom nobody knows. So the point I'm trying to say is, when we have people around us, God gives us this opportunity, we can invest in the best way possible so that they can move forward and fulfill God's purpose and plans through their life. Never be a destroyer, but always be a builder. A kingdom, a person who has a kingdom mentality will never try to destroy anything. They will try to build. They will try to cover. They will not try to expose. They will try to cover. If there is a weakness, they will try to cover it and try to restore it so that things can go according to the plan and will of God. So this morning, everyone who is witnessing this baptism has a responsibility not only to pray, but also to walk along with them when they need. When they need a helping hand, we need to provide them a helping hand. When there is a chance to do something, be always mindful about doing that. So this morning, it is also a commitment from our side to make sure that, you know, our motto of our church or the theme of our church is making disciples who will make disciples. So we are all engaged in making disciples. Don't forget that by the things we do, we are helping others to become better disciples of Jesus Christ. So always have that mentality, always have that mind. Yesterday night uh, in the meeting I said, um, if a person has to prosper according to the plan of God, they need to be led by the Holy Spirit. They need to have spiritual disciplines in their life. But I also said that God plants them in a church. God plants them in a church and then when they allow themselves to grow, that is the time when God prepares them and helps them to flourish in the way God wants them to be. And uh, that is also our commitment this morning that uh, we will be a place where people can grow. And this morning I'm so glad these two kids, most of the time they grew here. Kevin, of course, came at a later time, but they grew here and uh, they learned Sunday school here and now they're taking water baptism here. And one more thing, I'm very happy and very glad that uh, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, back in September, during our Tani meeting. I want to take my attention to a couple of scripture portions and I'm going to go from there. Let's turn our attention to the book of Romans chapter 6, um, verses 1 onwards. I taught them a lot, so I don't need to repeat, but I just want to give some reminders as we are in this baptism service. and. Uh, before we go forward. <clears throat> Romans chapter 6 talks about the fact that we have a new life in Christ. It says, what should we see? What should we say then? Should we continue in sin so that grace may multiply? Absolutely not. How can we who die to sin still live in it? Or are you unaware that all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? So those who were baptized were baptized into his death. And then I'm going to, there is a, that whole portion is very important and I have uh, asked them to read it twice actually. So I'm not going to read the entire thing but verse 8 says, Now if we die with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him because we know that Christ having been raised from the dead will not die again. Death no longer rules over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all time, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you too consider yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore do not let sin reign in your mortal bodies so that you obey his desires. And do not offer any parts of it to sin as weapons for unrighteousness, but as those who are alive from the dead, offer yourself to God 
and all the parts of yours unto God as weapons for righteousness. For sin will not rule over you because you are not under the law but under grace. God calls us for a new life in Christ. And uh, Romans 10, I'm going to read a few verses. Verses 9 onward says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from death, you will be saved. One believes with the heart resulting in righteousness and one confesses with the mouth resulting in salvation. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So with your mouth you confess that Jesus is Lord. With your heart what do you believe? That God raised him from the dead. So here there is something very important which a lot of times we miss out. When we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are saying he is our Lord. What do you mean by Lord? We give complete control over to him for him to rule over us. So it's no more me driving. I was telling the other day, it's no more me driving the car. It's who is driving the car now? Jesus is driving the car. I, until now I was driving on my own. So I cannot drive everywhere I want to drive. I cannot do everything I want to do. I cannot go everywhere I want to go. I can only go which is within the plan and will of God. I can only go where God will be pleased. God will be okay for me to go. So this morning as uh, <clears throat> we conduct this baptism service, they are, it, it, it denotes the fact that Jesus Christ died, he was buried, he rose again from the dead. Same way, dead to sin and alive in Christ. It's a death, burial and resurrection. It denotes that. And it is a public confession of their private faith. This morning I'm so glad there were many people in many places who don't have the privilege to gather like this and take water baptism. I remember my, my parents when they took the water baptism, they were not able to tell anyone in the family that they are taking water baptism because the situations were like that. When I took water baptism, I was okay, my parents were, but otherwise, you know, people were not happy. But this morning, it's a privilege that when my son is taking water baptism, I don't think anyone is unhappy. The people who were unhappy with me taking water baptism, I think they are also fine now. Because the Lord has proven that following Jesus is not a foolish decision. It is the best decision you can take in your life. Following Jesus, I tell you, there is, we sing a song about the Lord, 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 the Chalakari will put a tan and Sahaji will mat and they will be boomy to our single vegetunda. The Gunda Katava de Pinale Pogum Bor, Utum Pinmara, the Mumbutu Pogu and Indum, Namta Perai, Amena Pogu, they were the Kruba number of Eldigum, Paganum, with the Vasanigum, Eldam to lead you. Hallelujah. God will make sure that one day everything will happen for the goodness, it's for the glory of God. Even now, we all know, I have said this many times, I have no problem in reminding this, especially young people. Uh, in the second century and all, when the persecution was at its height, even now in many countries, taking water baptism meant real death, because after that, there was a real threat that they will be killed for them, because they will be caught and asked, are you willing to deny Jesus? If they say no, then what happens? They get killed at that time. That is the reason in the second century when you read the church history, you will understand that when somebody accepts Jesus, they wait for a couple of years before they are given baptism because they want to make sure because after baptism, they are going to be asked this question. Can you, do you want to deny Jesus and live or do you want to die? At that time, if they don't want to turn back, 
They used to wait for the times. So a lot of difficulties, even in now in the place from where I come, if you have to take water baptism now in North India, you have to go to the mayor or you know somebody who is similar to the mayor and or the you know the official and give in writing that I am going to take water baptism. And you can only do water baptism after one month. After one month. And there that one month they use all the text the techniques possible to Turn this person away. So much difficulties are happening, but I'm so thankful to God that with freedom, without any fear, we are going to have our baptism service this morning. So it's not only a privilege to know the Lord, but it is also a privilege to freely become a witness and publicly proclaim that He is my Lord. Amen. Now I'm going to ask the congregation to read a verse. Acts chapter 2 verses 37-38. Let's read that verse and uh, I'm going to conclude here because a lot of verses have already been read. So, When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart. Yes. Yes. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the forgiveness of sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And then, uh, further it says that what happened that day. If you can read uh, further. Uh, actually, the verse 41. So those who accepted the message were baptized and about 3,000 were added to the number. So when people asked Peter, what should we do? Peter's response was very simple. What was his response? Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus and then you shall receive the Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ himself said, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And behold, I will be with you till the end of your life. At this time, <clears throat> I'm going to call both of them to come forward and we are all going to stretch our hands towards them. And we are going to pray for both of them. And uh, come, both of you come here. And uh, let's all stand up if we can. After that, we are going to proceed ahead with the baptism service. Yeah, just if you can. Yeah, kneel down if you can. Kneel down. Let's all stretch up our hands towards both of them and let us pray again. Hallelujah. Let's take a moment to just thank the Lord for both of them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lord, we praise you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful time. At this time, Lord, thank you that both Kevin and Tim have testified in front of this congregation that they have accepted you as the personal Savior and they want to take the water baptism. Lord, as we are going to, back to the baptism service and within a few minutes I am going to baptize them. Lord, I pray for your blessings. In the name of Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, I bless Kevin and I pray that he will be a mighty weapon in the hands of the Lord. For your glory, you have given him a lot of talents. Lord, I pray that you will use him so that his talents will be used to uplift your name. In the name of Jesus, once again as a congregation, we bless him and we pray. Let him be a blessing for many. Lord, I pray for Tim as uh, he has confessed his faith in you. Lord, I pray that you will continue to help him to grow and uh, help him to face all the challenges. And uh, as he grows, help him that he will be able to fulfill God's plans and purpose which you have for his life. In the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we bless them and we pray.
that they will indeed be a blessing. Hallelujah. We continue to we come completely, Lord, surrender them into thy hands. You be with them in Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. You go and get ready. <clears throat> At this time, I'm, I'm so uh, thankful and uh, happy. You may be seated for um, you know, a few minutes as we um, sing a song and then we get the baptism tank ready. Um, yes. So let's, uh, let's all, um, we'll be singing a song and at that time we will be uh, getting ready for the baptism service and then after that we'll have the baptism service here. So let's all uh, be in an attitude of prayer as we go ahead with the baptism service. Amen. chapter 16 and verses 16. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. So whoever believes and be baptized will be saved. This morning both of them have believed upon Jesus and they are taking the baptism. And let's read Matthew chapter 28 verses 18 onwards. Jesus came near and said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. So, I hope you all heard what, and you have read this verse. It says that Jesus said, go and make disciples of all the nations, Baptizing them in the name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the responsibility doesn't end there. It says, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And I am with you till the end of the world. So both Kevin and Tim, um, after taking the water baptism, it's not the end, but it's to learn and obey what Jesus has told and what the Bible teaches. 
So always be committed to that life where you both are obeying the word of God. And then you will be prosperous. Then you will be blessed in every way. Okay. With that, uh, we are going to uh, go ahead with the baptism service. Let's have a word of prayer again. Heavenly Father, as we have come here together, and as we are going to step into this baptism tank to conduct the baptism service, may your blessings be upon everything. May you guide us, lead us, Lord. Submitting everything into thy hands, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jayam Jayam, Hallelujah, Jayam Jayam, Jayam Jayam, Hallelujah, Jayam Jayam, About 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came into this world. He came being the son of God. He came into this world. He lived 33 and a half years. And he died on the cross for the sin of mankind. He died. He was buried. He rose again on the third day. And he ascended to the heaven. And now he's sitting at the right hand side of the Father. Before Jesus went, he said, those who believe in him, they will have eternal life. Tim, I want to ask you, do you believe everything I said so far? Have you given your life to Jesus? Yes. Do you make this confession that you are going to lead your rest of your life in complete obedience to the word of God? Yes. And uh, are you, do you believe that Jesus is going to come back for those who Wait for him to be with them, with him forever. Yes. As you have completely confessed and as you have said with your mouth. And I know that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. And you have believed in your heart. At this time, I want to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be faithful till the end of your life. And you shall receive the crown of God. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. That Jesus Christ came into this world 2,000 years ago and died for our sins. Yes. Do you believe that um, everyone who accepts Jesus Christ as a personal Savior, do you believe that His death was for our sins? Yes. And do um, you have that eternal hope that those who wait for Him and lead a life for Him, Jesus will take them to be with Him forever? Yes. Do you make a commitment this morning that? Rest of your life, you will live for Jesus. On the basis of the word of mouth and the testimonies you have shared in the past and now. At this point of time, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be faithful to the end of your life and you will receive the crown of life. Sakura me,
there are many out there who are yet to know this truth and take water baptism. Let us pray that in the coming days, coming months, God will bring many and they will become a witness for Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you for blessing us and helping us this morning. As both uh, Kevin and Tim have taken their water baptism, we pray that you will continue to bless them and thank you for blessing us. And as we continue in the service, be with us. And uh, thank you for all your goodness and mercies. We pray that in the coming months and years, many will come and testify your goodness and they will take water baptism and they will receive you as their personal savior and they will lead a life for you. Thanking you for everything, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can go and sit there uh, for a little bit more while as uh, Kevin leads us in a few more songs. Uh, let's pray. Though none go with me, still I will I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turn. No turning back. The cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning No turning back. Go with me, shall I will follow? Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back, no turning back. Righteousness, 
Scorned by the ones he came to save To the Lord that cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid Here in the death of Christ I land His body lay, light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again, and as he stands in victory, sin's curse has lost its grip on me. The precious blood of Christ. No guilt to life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath. Jesus grants my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I stand, in Christ alone my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone is solid ground, firm through the fiercest trial and storm. What heights of love, what depths of When striving seems my comforter, my all in all, here is the love of Christ I stand. We glorify your name. We come to you, Lord, with everything we have.
word of prayer and cl conclude the service here. But let's all just thank the Lord for his faithfulness and blessings in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Let us thank the Lord for abundance of his mercies, which he has showered upon our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Master. We praise you, Master. We thank you. We give you honor and glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Thou alone are worthy. We praise you. We thank you for helping us. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for all your guidance, all your goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are so thankful to you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we worship you. We thank you. We praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. We give you honor and glory. We give you praise. We love you, Master. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for the privilege to know you as our Lord and Savior. Thank you for everything, Lord. Thank you for everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Master. Thank you for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, I am going to uh, request both of them to come. Stand, you can stand here. <laughs> right. Um, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, they both took their decision and they've taken the water baptism this morning. Um, some, some people asked uh, me if some guest is going to come to baptize Tim. I asked them, hey, do you want somebody else? They said, there is a conference coming where there may be a baptism service you can do. He said, no, I want you to do it. So thank you, Tim, for the allowing me to do the, your baptism. I, I'm privileged as a father also. At this time, what we are going to do is uh, we are all going to stand up and uh, I'm request few people to come forward and they are going to lay their hands on them and pray and then we are going to conclude. Um, I request uh, Saji Angle, Joe Angle, Sabu Angle, and Papa, Sydney brother, um, and Brother Biju to come forward. Just uh, come around. Our uh, You know, two of them are uncles of Kevin. They have a long way to go uh, in their life. Uh, and may the Lord continue to bless them. Hallelujah. There is no place to call everyone forward. Just allow me to ask and let us pray that God will uh, guide them and lead them. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. So, ma'am, request Papa Pratich. Let the prayer be Pratich. Let us pray. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
ഒരു കഴിയുമ്പോൾ ശത്രുവായി കർത്താവെ പല തന്ത്രങ്ങളുമായിട്ട് വരുമല്ലോ എന്നാൽ അവിടെയൊക്കെ കർത്താവ് പരാജയപ്പെടുവാൻ അവരെ അനുവദിക്കല്ല കർത്താവ് ശത്രു പരാജയപ്പെട്ട് പോട്ട് കർത്താവ് എന്റെ ദൈവമേ എന്റെ ദൈവമേ അവിടെ നിന്ന് കൂടെ നിന്ന് സഹായിക്കണം ഒരിടത്ത് ഒരു ബുദ്ധിമുട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ കർത്താവ് അവിടെ മുന്നോട്ടുള്ള ജീവിതത്തിൽ കർത്താവ് ശത്രു ഒരിടത്തും പ്രവർത്തിക്കാൻ അവിടെ നിന്ന് അനുവദിക്കല്ലേ അവരുടെ സാന്നിധ്യം എപ്പോഴും അവരോട് കൂടെ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കണമേ അതിന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ കർത്താവ് അവരെവിടെ പോയാലും സ്കൂളിൽ പോയാലും കോളേജിൽ പോയാലും കർത്താവ് എവിടെ പോയാലും അവിടുത്തെ സാന്നിധ്യം കൂടെ ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കണമേ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ ദൈവത്തിലേക്ക് വരുവാനുള്ള എല്ലാ മുഹാന്തരങ്ങളും ഒഴിച്ചു കൊടുക്കണമേ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഒരു നല്ല പൈതൃകം രണ്ടുപേരും വളർന്നു വരുവാനോട് സഹായിക്കണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു കർത്താവേ പിന്നെ നടന്ന എല്ലാ ശുശ്രൂഷയിലും അവിടുത്തെ സാന്നിധ്യം കൂടെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നല്ലോ നന്ദിയുടെ നന്ദിയോടെ സ്ത്രോത്രം ആസ്വദിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവ് എന്റെ പ്രജാ ശുശ്രൂഷയായി ഇവിടുത്തെ ദാസനെ അവിടുത്തെ കർത്താവിനെ സഹായിച്ചല്ലോ നന്ദിയോടെ നന്ദിയോടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന ചെയ്ത് കർത്താവെ ആസ്വദിക്കുന്നു കടന്നു വന്ന എല്ലാവരും അവിടെ നിന്ന് ഇത്രത്തോളം അവർക്ക് കാത്തു പരിപാലിച്ചു നന്ദിയോട് സ്ത്രോത്രം കർത്താവ് എല്ലാവരും അവിടെ സഹായിക്കണമേ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു എല്ലാ വിശ്വേശന നാമത്തിൽ അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു കുറുവുകൾ കിട്ടിക്കണം Amen amen let us thank the lord for everything hallelujah thank you lord let us thank the lord for all his blessings amen amen as uh, we are concluding we can, we can go back and sit everybody can sit let's let's thank the lord heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time thank you for blessing us this morning to come here thank you for this facility thank you for this church thank you for everything lord thank you for your continuous blessing upon all the all the things which happened here oh lord as we conclude the service here be with us until we meet again protect and keep us all safe once again we pray that your presence will continue to be manifested in our lives help us to experience the joy of the lord daily in our lives we thank you for everyone who came here this morning be with us guide us thank you for everything in jesus most precious name we pray amen, amen. now may the grace of our lord jesus christ love the father and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all from now and forever amen amen, amen. god bless you all um, there is some small refreshments out uh, arranged outside if you <clears throat> well, want to take part take part in it before you go once again thank you thank you for everyone who attended the service god bless you all